In this video, I'll show you how to display and label points of intersection on an alignment. In this alignment, only the last curve's tangents intersect at a point. This point is known as an explicit point of intersection. At the other curves, the tangents do not intersect. The point at which the tangents would intersect, if they were extended, is known as an implied point of intersection. These options control how implied points of intersection are displayed. Currently, implied points of intersection are not displayed. Let's see what the other options do. The By Change in Alignment Direction option displays implied points of intersection based on the direction of incoming and outgoing tangent lines. As you see here, even though multiple curves are present, only one implied point of intersection is displayed. The By Individual Curves and Curve Groups option displays an implied point of intersection for each curve. In the alignment style, if you turn off the tangent extensions display component, the implied tangent lines will not be displayed in the drawing. But the lines are still displayed when you select the alignment. Finally, you can label both explicit and implied points of intersection. A point of intersection label can display lines to represent the incoming and outgoing tangents. The style can also use text for each label components to display data about the individual curves and spirals that are in a curve group. Text for each label components enable you to use a single label component to annotate multiple elements. For example, in this label, both spirals are annotated, but there is only one text for each component defined for spirals. You can label the point of intersection of any pair of curved tangents, even if the tangent endpoints do not intersect. 